Hello and welcome all in this video. So we are going to discuss about some fungal diseases which is particularly found in the uh, fishes. So the first fungal disease having a name Dermatomycosis or also called as external mycosis. So the fungi which is infect the fish can infect the eggs, fry, fingerlings and adult. They can grow particularly on the non-slime areas and their filaments grow into the subcutaneous tissues. They can causing the death of surrounding tissues and sometimes the death of the host can be takes place. So we have to control over these fungal diseases in that the first type of disease having a name dermatomycosis which is also called as external mycosis. It is a fungal disease caused by various members of class oomycetes. This disease can be caused by the members of class oomycetes and this can grow on the outer surface of the body, on skin, fins, eyes, mouth and sometimes on the gills. So various member of this class attack and grow on the outer surface of the body that is skin, on the fin, on the eyes or mouth and sometimes they can attack on the gills. The symptoms, commonly symptoms found in this disease that is the fine hair like tufts are found hanging from the infected areas. We can found that some fine hair like projects, hair like tufts hanging from the infected areas and the fins becomes eroded in that particular area. Infected eggs, infected eggs tend to stick, tend to stick each other or they tend to stick together and the fungal hyphae or fungal hyphae grow bacteria grow between the epidermal cells the fungal tufts grow between the epidermal, epidermal cells and sometimes in the latter cases they can penetrate deeper into the skin in severe cases they can this type of filaments can penetrate deep enough to infect the bones they can enter up to the bones the infected eyes are destroyed shortly infected eyes are destroyed shortly and infection extends further up to the brain infection extends further up to the brain so this type of tufts can in the severe condition they can penetrate into the bones infected eyes are destroyed and sometimes this can further goes or reach up to the brain. Then the second type of fungal disease gill rot or branch branchiomycosis and this branchiomycosis caused by branchiomycus demigrans or branchiomycus sanguinis type of Panja. That is, this disease is first noticed by a red spotting on gills, red spotting on the gills and later the gills become grayish white and stop functioning. The fishes suffocate and die. The fungal hyphae grow into the respiratory epithelium of the gills and causing inflammation of the gills and they can damage their blood vessels. The blood supply is stopped to the infected area due to which the blood supply of that area is in the infected area is stopped. So this is a particular type of disease, uh, disease which attack on the gill rot. So called as, uh, uh, gill, so called as gill rot. This particular type of disease can attack on the gill so called as gill rot and caused by branchiomycus type of fungi and uh, the symptoms we are found in this case that red spotting on the gills and they can destroy the gills. Third type of 
fungi, fungal disease that is systemic mycosis or deep mycosis or internal mycosis systemic mycosis or deep mycosis or internal mycosis this type of disease is caused by a group of mycosis like ethiopiasis hoferi ethiopiasis hoferi type of mycosis can go can cause the systemic mycosis or deep mycosis or internal mycosis type of disease to the fish and it is characterized by swinging movement of the infected fish the causative agent of this fungus is particularly ethiopiasis hoferi and which which gain enter into the body of the host along with the food and this fungus usually found in marine fishes but is pathogenic to salmon type of freshwater fishes also the symptoms which are found in this cases that is the small small spherical cyst on the liver we can found small cysts on the liver brain kidney on the gonads so infected in this infected area we can found the cyst on the liver brain kidney and gonads in severe condition they can spread over the skin which may rupture and becomes ulcerative at several places so these are some symptoms about the systemic mycosis or deep mycosis now the fourth type of disease having a name skin and kidney swelling disease of salmon skin and kidney swelling disease of salmon this disease is caused by scolicobacidium and the symptoms in this case found that there is having the swelling on the skin or in kidney so causing hard red swelling on the skin or in the kidney these are symptoms of the skin and kidney swelling disease of the salmon so collectively here are some preventive measures about fungal diseases how to control over this fungal diseases there are having some preventive measures of fungal diseases in the fish so first of all whenever such a type of diseases spread in the pond which type of preventive measures we can use that is in that first we can uh, remove we can remove the dead fishes from the pond we can remove first of all we have to remove these dead fishes from the pond secondly we can drain the pond draining and drying of the pond draining the pond and drying the water is also essential also we can give the treatment of pond with quick lime give the treatment to the pond with quick lime of 150 to 200 kg per hectare or we can use copper sulfate bath or uh, to the fish copper sulfate bath to the fish for about 500 ppm for 1 to 2 minute to kill the fungal spores also incorporation of medicines like teramycin sulfa methylin erythromycin we can we can feed these fishes with the teramycin sulfa methylin or erythromycin type of medicines that is incorporation of medicines like teramycin sulfa methylin erythromycin in the food to the fish then again there are having some preventive measures like we can use phenoxithal solution that is 10% phenoxithal solution is considered a very potent fungicide this phenoxithal solution is a fungicide and we can add this fungicide in the water it is added to the water containing the diseased fishes then infected fishes may also be kept in the bath water containing 5% containing 5.5 ml of containing 5.5 ml of scho solution formalin solution in 1000 ml of water plus we can also uh, we can also use 1 ppm of 
malicate green and by this uh, we can control over the fungal diseases and now next one infected fishes can kept in 50 to 30 gram nsl solution infected fishes can kept in 15 to 13 15 to 30 gram of nsl solution for half an hour so we can also use bath of kmno4 solution for 19 to 90 minutes we can also use bath of kmno4 solution for 10 to 90 minutes so 10 to 90 minutes bath in kmno4 solution is also recommended again they are having various deep treatments that is this various deep treatment involving different chemicals are suggested for the infected fishes they are having some deep treatment like 24 hour deep in 0.3 mg per liter of malicate green also 10 to 30 minute deep treatment in 100 mg liter of 100 mg per liter of copper sulfate solution we can also use deep treatment of chcc uh, sch h cho for about that is 15 to 20 ppm of scho solution deep treatment we can also use 3 to 5 percent deep treatment of nsl this some various treatments can also be given deep treatment also be given for the infected fishes of which can be uh, controlled over the fungal diseases so these are some fungal diseases and their preventive measures to control over there. So once again thank you for watching this video.